All right, so for those who are watching this, um, this is just quickly going over what you are expected to do in today's class. So we are continuing to write, right? Friday, as we discussed yesterday, Friday is a writing day. And so what you should do is you should look over your maps that you've made. You should look over any of your notes that you've had and you should start writing. And so we're gonna have all of today and we're gonna have all of Monday. And so any major confusion or questions that you have, I, I can address them immediately on Monday, but everybody should make significant progress in your writing today. You all have your, uh, different topics and you have different ideas, but keep in mind, this is not a long essay. This is one page of Google Docs, one page to two pages. And so, and it's focused on whatever you wanna write about, we know this. All of you have your topic and all of you have your claim, the claim or the idea you're gonna argue. I'm grading this as it's listed in the prompt. I'm grading this not on whether I agree or disagree with you. I'm grading this based purely on how well you organize your argument. You need a claim, you need an introduction, where you talk about, introduce the topic that you're writing about. You need reasons, two to three different reasons. And in those reasons, that's where you make your argument, right? That's where you give evidence, that's where you explain yourself. And, and then finally, you need to include the counter argument and rebuttal. So that alone is four to five paragraphs. Paragraphs, again, are not long. It's not based on sentences. We're not talking about a paragraph has to be five sentences or seven. A paragraph is discussing an idea. It's how we organize ideas in writing. So once you're done one idea, you move to a new paragraph. Now, the final thing before I say get to get a writing is that um, a, a few of you, two or three submitted essays in class on Thursday. And after reviewing them, some of them are fine, um, but all of them would benefit immensely from more explanation and more evidence. So you have that time. Go out and find examples on the internet um, uh, that talk about or connect to your ideas. Explain yourself more. Um, some, some of your writing just assumes that everyone knows what you're talking about and assumes that, um, and, and not assumes, but some of you are just writing so quickly and so to the point that you're skipping over some ideas. And honestly, it weakens your argument. Um, your argument is not about uh, yourself agreeing with yourself. It's about trying to convince somebody else. So sometimes that requires more writing. Um, and so quick is not better. Just keep that in mind, please. So more evidence and more explanation for everybody who submitted early. All right. If you are still working on your map, don't worry about it, all right, stop. Um, your map is just about organizing your writing before you get started, and I think it benefited a lot of you, but at this point, it's time to start writing. So get your claim down, make your argument, get something down on paper, and I will see you on Monday. Make sure you do your uh, engagement and learning rubric as your exit ticket, and have a good weekend.